Let's work on question number 16 from chapter 7. So this question says, assume the population standard deviation is 25. We then need to compute the standard error of the mean for a variety of different sample sizes. So we're going to work with 50, 100, 150, and 200 as our four different sample sizes in this problem. Once we find all of those standard errors, we can then answer this next question. What can you say about the size of the standard error as the sample size increases? So let's first solve our standard error for when our sample size is 50. So our standard error formula is right there on the screen. It's our population standard deviation, sigma, over the square root of our sample size. So we plug in those values into our formula and we get 25 divided by the square root of 50 and we see that our standard error is 3.54. So we'll make note of that, that when our sample size was 50, our standard error was 3.54. Now, if we increase our sample size to 100, we can solve for our new standard error. So we plug in that 100 into our formula, so we get 25 divided by the square root of 100, and our standard error is now 2.50. So we'll make note of that one as well. We can now move on to our sample size being 150. We can plug those values into our standard error formula, and we get 25 divided by the square root of 150. When we solve that formula, we end up with 2.04. So our standard error when our sample size was 150, our standard error is now 2.04. So you might start seeing a pattern in this problem. Now, our sample size is 200. So if we solve for our standard error, we get 25 divided by the square root of 200. And now our standard error is just 1.77. So we can now take a look at all of the standard errors that we solved for. And you can notice this pattern, that as the sample size increases, the standard error decreases.